Memory is a fundamental component of modern computing systems, and it plays a critical role in the functioning of computers. In this lecture, we will explore the different types of memory used in computing, their characteristics, and their applications. Types of memory. Primary and secondary memory are two different types of storage used in computer systems. While both types of memory store data and information, they differ in terms of their access time, storage capacity, and other important features. Primary memory. Primary memory, also known as internal memory or main memory, refers to the memory that is directly accessible to the CPU. It is used for storing data and instructions that the CPU is currently processing. Primary memory is also volatile memory, which means that it requires a constant flow of electricity to keep its data intact. When the power is turned off, the data stored in primary memory is lost. Types of primary memory. There are two main types of primary memory. RAM, random access memory. RAM is the most commonly used type of primary memory in modern computers. It is volatile memory, which means that the data stored in it is lost when the power is turned off. RAM is further classified into two types. SHRAM, static RAM, SHRAM is faster and more expensive than RAM. It is often used as cache memory in computer systems. SHRAM is more stable than RAM and can store data without refreshing it. However, it is less dense than RAM and can store less data. DRAM, dynamic RAM, DRAM is slower and less expensive than SHRAM. It is commonly used as the main memory in computers. DRAM is volatile and requires periodic refreshing to maintain the data stored in it. ROM, read-only memory, ROM is a type of non-volatile memory that is used to store data that should not be lost when the power is turned off. ROM is used to store the computer's BIOS, firmware, and other essential data. ROM is further classified into three types. PROM, programmable ROM, PROM is a type of ROM that can be programmed once. Once programmed, the data stored in it cannot be changed. EEPROM, Erasable Programmable ROM, EEPROM is a type of ROM that can be erased and reprogrammed. However, it requires special equipment to erase and reprogram it. EEPROM, Electrically Erasable Programmable ROM, EEPROM is a type of ROM that can be erased and reprogrammed using an electrical signal. It is commonly used in applications where the data needs to be updated frequently. Cache memory. Cache memory is a type of volatile memory that is used to store frequently accessed data that is needed quickly by the computer. Cache memory is typically located close to the CPU, central processing unit, and is faster to access than other types of memory such as RAM or the hard disk. There are several types of cache memory, including L1, L2, and L3 cache. L1 cache is the fastest type of cache and is located directly on the CPU. L2 cache is located on the motherboard and is slower than L1 cache but faster than RAM. L3 cache is even larger than L2 cache and is used in high-end systems where performance is critical. Virtual memory. Virtual memory is a type of memory that is used by the computer to compensate for a shortage of physical memory, RAM. Virtual memory allows the computer to use a portion of the hard disk as temporary memory when the RAM is full. Virtual memory is slower to access than physical memory, which can lead to slower performance if the computer relies too heavily on virtual memory. It is important to have enough physical memory, RAM, to avoid excessive use of virtual memory. Secondary memory, also known as external memory, refers to the memory that is not directly accessible to the CPU. It is used for long-term storage of data and information. Secondary memory is also non-volatile, which means that the data stored in it is not lost when the power is turned off. Types of secondary memory. There are several types of secondary memory, including hard disk drives, HDDs. HDDs are the most common type of secondary memory used in modern computers. They store data on magnetic disks and are capable of storing large amounts of data. HDDs are slower than primary memory, but are much cheaper and can store much larger amounts of data. Solid state drives, SSDs, SSDs are a newer type of secondary memory that use flash memory to store data. SSDs are faster than HDDs and consume less power. 
However, they are more expensive and have a smaller storage capacity than HDDs. Optical storage devices Optical storage devices, such as CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs, are also used as secondary memory in computers. They store data using a laser to read and write data onto the disc. Optical storage devices are slower than HDDs and SSDs, but are cheaper and have a longer lifespan. Flash drives Flash drives, also known as USB drives or thumb drives. Memory characteristics Memory has several characteristics that determine its performance and suitability for specific applications. These characteristics include Capacity of memory The capacity of memory refers to the amount of data that can be stored in the memory. It is typically measured in bytes, or multiples of bytes, such as kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, etc. The capacity of memory varies depending on the type of memory being used. For example, RAM typically has a larger capacity than cache memory but a smaller capacity than the hard disk. The capacity of memory is an important consideration when choosing a computer system, as it determines how much data can be stored and processed by the system. For example, a computer with a small amount of RAM may not be able to run multiple applications simultaneously or may experience slower performance when running memory-intensive applications such as video editing software or games. Access Time of Memory The access time of memory refers to the time taken by the memory to retrieve or store data. It is typically measured in nanoseconds, ns, or milliseconds, ms, and varies depending on the type of memory being used. For example, cache memory has a much faster access time than RAM, which in turn has a faster access time than the hard disk. The access time of memory is a critical factor in determining the overall performance of a computer system, as it directly affects the speed at which data can be processed. For example, a computer with slow memory access times may experience longer load times for applications, slower data transfer rates, and reduced performance overall. Transfer rate of memory The transfer rate of memory refers to the rate at which data can be transferred to and from the memory. It is typically measured in megabytes per second, megabyte per second, and varies depending on the type of memory being used. For example, the transfer rate of RAM is typically much faster than that of the hard disk. The transfer rate of memory is another critical factor in determining the performance of a computer system, particularly when transferring large amounts of data. For example, a computer with a slow memory transfer rate may experience slower file transfer times and longer load times for applications. Volatility of memory The volatility of memory refers to the ability of the memory to retain data when the power is turned off. Volatility is a critical consideration when choosing the type of memory to use in a computer system, as it affects the way data is stored and accessed. Volatile memory, such as RAM, loses its data when the power is turned off, while non-volatile memory, such as ROM, retains its data even when the power is turned off. The volatility of memory also affects the way data is stored in the memory. For example, volatile memory requires constant power to maintain the data, while non-volatile memory can be programmed once and retains the data without the need for constant power. In conclusion, the capacity, access time, transfer rate, and volatility of memory are critical factors in determining the performance and functionality of a computer system. When choosing a computer system or upgrading an existing system, it is important to consider these factors carefully to ensure optimal performance and functionality. Applications of memory Memory is used in a wide range of applications in computing, including Operating systems. The operating system of a computer uses memory to manage the resources of the computer, including the CPU, disk, and network. Applications. Applications, such as word processors and web browser, use memory to store the data and instructions required for their functioning. Gaming. Gaming requires a significant amount of memory to store the game data and graphics. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence applications, such as machine learning and deep learning, require large amounts of memory to store the data used for training the models. In conclusion, memory is a critical component of modern computing systems, and its characteristics and applications have a significant impact on the performance and functionality of the computer.